Hi, everybody. Uh, we're doing our very best to uh, start on time and stay on time. Uh, I'm Nancy Zemfer, and Chancellor of the State University of New York. I was thinking about this convening because aren't we all used to going to our role alike meetings? So all the superintendents are in the room, all the heads of the United Ways and all the university presidents and all the community organizations and the philanthropists and the political leaders, we kind of hang in our own group. So this is gonna be one of those mixed up days. You're gonna say, I don't know anybody here except the people from my place, which is okay, but hopefully by the end of tomorrow, we will shake it up a bit because this is about community partnerships that bring all the stakeholders together and this room uh, is filled with stakeholders. So without further ado, and I have more to say, of course, um, we are indebted to President Joyce Brown for hosting this convening at the Fashion Institute of Technology. It is just, yes, indeed, there you go. If I, Joyce, could start all over, by golly, I would start right here. Uh, I just think this is a fabulous program, but most importantly, uh, President Brown leads by example. She is a community uh, icon and anchor. She partners beautifully with the city of New York and sets an example for all the rest of us across the state and across the nation. And uh, so uh, we're thrilled to have you here to so that we can say thank you and so that we can learn a little bit more about FIT. Without further ado, President Joyce Brown. Joyce? Well, thank you very, very much. It is really my pleasure to be able to welcome all of you to FIT and some of you to New York City. Um, and I, I know he's not in the room, but I want to add a special welcome to our keynote speaker, uh, New York City Deputy Mayor Richard Bury. Um, it's okay. It's okay. We get it. He's coming. Um, and of course, to Dr. Zimfer. Uh, who has brought such a vision to SUNY uh, since she arrived, particularly through the power of SUNY's strategic plan with its six big ideas uh, that kind of keep us, keep us all focused and on track. Um, one of those big ideas, of course, is at the foundation of what brings all of us here today, and that is the seamless education pipeline uh, with its recognition of community-based partnerships to achieve the cradle-to-career success. Um, and I really cannot think of a better time uh, to, for a conference focusing on education, and in particular, the path to higher education, uh, for that to be taking place. You see, really, as a lifelong educator, I never expected to live in a world in which the President of the United States would be attacked as a snob and an elitist when he said he wanted all of our nation's children to have a chance to go to college. Uh, a world in which the lesson learned and celebrated from, I guess, Steve Jobs to Bill Gates is that you can drop out of college and become a billionaire. A world, indeed, in which the basic value of higher education would need defending. But here we are, another commencement season just gone and still shaking off the deluge of debate and angry commentary in which colleges themselves are accused of being a flagrant waste of money. It's crazy. But I get it. I get it. I think we all do. Um, the economy is still slow. College graduates, along with so many others, are struggling to find jobs or, or good jobs. Uh, so it's not surprising that when the talk turns to the basic value of a college education today, the issue becomes framed in economic terms. But from that viewpoint alone, all of the data tell us rather starkly that there really is a clear cash advantage to having a college degree. And according to a recent analysis of Labor Department statistics, Americans with a four-year college degree made 98% more an hour on average last year than people without a degree. Unemployment this past April for people between the ages of 25 and 34 with a bachelor's degree was a scant 3%. Now we all know that statistics can vary and are always subject to interpretation, but these two statistics are part of the long-term trend. And as New York Times economist uh, columnist David Leonard wrote just the other day, from almost any individual's perspective, 
college is a no-brainer. It's the most reliable ticket to the middle class and beyond. Of course, they, there are all of the other advantages of a college education, lest we forget. Advantages that are derived from expanded intellectual growth, exposure to new ideas, new people, new cultures, the accumulation of new and vital information, and of course, having a broader and more diverse perspective. I know I'm preaching to the choir. Um, all of us recognize the transformative power of education, its multiple missions, and I'm sure we share too a belief in lifelong learning. So the work that you are accomplishing through the many statewide community partners in SUNY's Cradle to Career initiative couldn't be more critical or more encouraging. Um, I've spent a lot of my career making pathways uh, between secondary education and higher ed. Um, it truly is a transformative experience for young people when you touch their lives and let them know what's possible. So I think this mission that the chancellor is on and leading us through is a very, very important one. And I think we can count it in lives transformed and, and entry into the middle class for lots and lots of young people that will in fact be the future leaders and we will be handing the baton over to them. So I hope you have a very productive conference. I hope you all learn a lot from each other and I welcome you once again to FIT. I hope you have a chance to look around, see some of our facilities, go to the museum and have a good time. So thanks very much.